stupendous second graders and welcome to social studies. Today in economics, we're going to be talking about producers and consumers. Our essential question, that is what we really want to know is what are producers and consumers and why are they important to our economy? Let's review. Producers make or produce goods or services. Those are people like your bakers, your farmers, artists, teachers, or doctors. Last week, you guys gave me examples of producers that you wanted to be. I heard chefs, I heard a butcher, I heard artists, I heard fashion designer. We had a lot of good ideas. All of those jobs are producers. They produce things that consumers purchase or buy. Consumers purchase or buy goods or services. So if I'm a baker, I'm producing cookies and cakes for a consumer to buy. If I am a hairdresser, I'm producing haircuts and good looking hair. Those are service that people can buy. So remember, producers, they make and sell the goods or services. Consumers, buy the goods or services. Let's look at an example of producers and consumers in one of my favorite books called The Little Red Hen. The Little Red Hen. I must bake my cupcakes for my grand opening today. Who will help me by going to the store for flour? No way, said Fox. As if, said Crocodile. <sniffs> Snored Hedgehog. Then I'll do it myself. And she did. I forgot to get butter from my batter. Who will help me get the batter? No way, said Fox. As if, said Crocodile. Snored Hedgehog. Then I'll do it myself. And she did. Hmm. Let's think. Is the little red hen being a producer right now? Is she making a good or service, service? Or is she being a consumer? I forgot to get sugar from my frosting. Who will run upstairs to ask my neighbor for 10 cups? No way, said Fox. As if, said Crocodile. <sighs> Snored Hedgehog. Man, that Fox and Crocodile sure are lazy. Then I'll do it myself. And she did. Sprinkles! I need more sprinkles! Who will help me get the sprinkles? No way, said Fox. As if, said Crocodile. <sniffs> Snored Hedgehog. Then I'll do it myself. And she did. Think again. Is the little red hen being a producer right now? Is she making a good or service? Or is she being a consumer? That means she's buying something and she's spending money. It is time to go. Who will help me carry all these cupcakes? No way, said Fox. As if, said Crocodile. Snored Hedgehog. Then I'll do it myself. And she did. What a wonderful first day for Mrs. Cluck's cupcake truck. Now who will help me eat a cupcake? I will, said Fox. I will, said Crocodile. I will, said Hedgehog. Finally woke up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sold out. On this page, is the little red hen being a producer? Is she making a good or service? Or is she being a consumer? That is the end. Now we're going to look at your assignment for the day. Today's assignment is the little red hen producers and consumers. At the top, we have our key vocabulary. A producer produces goods and services to create value. They're making a good or a service. Consumers are a person who purchases goods and services for personal use. Number one, how was the little red hen a consumer? So think about what she bought. Start your sentence off by saying, 
The little red hen was a consumer because. When you answer your question, you actually need to type in the box like Miss Attacko is doing. Please do not fill in the, the purple part. Just type in the box, guys. Number two. How was the little red hen a producer? So think about what she made, especially at the end. What did she make? What was she selling? Start your sentence off by saying, the little red hen was a consumer because, and you type right here in the handy dandy box. And last question, number three. Why do we need producers and consumers? So think about what would happen if we didn't have anyone to produce food or if we didn't have anyone to produce clothes or think about what would happen if there was no one to consume the food to buy it or if there was no one to buy the clothes start your sentence off by saying we need producers and consumers because